first time I have received a gift from someone aside from my husband was on the 14th day of February. Not that I have not received anything from my family, no. This is just, it's weird. They never give me anything aside from my birthday and Christmas and New Year. I didn't know who sent it, maybe even who left it, but all I know is that a bouquet of roses and a box of chocolates were left at my doorstep. Who gave this? Mm -hmm. I don't know, really. Oh. Okay. Uh, Marlon, wait. What? Do you know what day it is today? What? Uh, uh, you know. I know what. Well, that's what I was going to do before you stopped me and asked me something absurd. Okay, okay. Just change and get some rest. I'll call you when the dinner is ready. Okay. Hi, darling. Hello, honey. So, how was work? Oh, uh, just fine. By the way, JR visited me at the office. JR? You mean your friend, the head people group? Yes. So, why? What, what did he do there? Oh, just nothing. He wanted to invite us into a dinner, actually. Said he missed us and pays a visit to the office. Dinner? That's nice! I love you, honey. I love you, too. I love you more. Marlon asked JR if he can reschedule the dinner into an afternoon snack at our home. And JR agreed. Right now, I'm currently preparing myself for the Iraq. I'm excited to talk to JR's wife. If he has one. Hey, hello there. <laughs> Come in. Hello guys! Hey Jair, I missed you. I missed you too, bro. Oh, by the way, this is my wife, Gina. Hey Gina, Hi, nice JR. to meet you. She is my wife. Her name is Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Catherine. looks at my husband as if she wants him. Well, I don't think so. Maybe I'm just hallucinating, but she's been staring at my husband ever since she came. Coming! Oh, Anna! Hi, Gina! You got a nice house, Gina. Oh, you know, Marlon bought this for our future kids, family. Yeah, yeah. So, how's it going? Good, great. You know that dream school of mine? Oh, the school of performing arts? Yeah, I became a music teacher there and I've been teaching. A music teacher? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, well, I'm happy for you. Yeah. yeah. But of course, nothing is far more greater than being with your family. You know, even if you're not a part no, of it. No, no, Anna. We have talked about it. But... Think about that. But... You know, we 
have adopted you because we love you, and it's all that matters, right? Yeah. I know. Okay. Hey, you should be safe for dinner. I think Marlon really wants to see you. Oh yeah, sure. Going to like bees? It's too dark, too red. But but red is good. It indicates love. Yeah, yeah, well whatever. Do what you want. Mind your own business, girl. Well, I'll make sure if you see Vigan, he's going to be that Gina. Ugh, please. Don't ever speak her name here. <sighs> okay, fine, whatever. Why? I just want to impress Marlon. Is that so hard for you to appreciate? to impress him. Just don't even mention his wife's name. Okay, okay. Now that you've mentioned her name, might as well talk about her now. Go, girl. I don't really like her, to be really, really honest. Don't worry. I don't like her, too. All I care is all about her husband. All about her husband? Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Are you not really going to give up on him? He already has a wife. You know that. Well, that's what I do. Steal people away from people. <laughs> that's my job. Go girl. I know, right? Ever since I came inside my room, I saw a box and a letter under it. I got curious, so I decided to open it. And guess what? I found a beautiful necklace. I'm thinking it's from Marlin. Yes, I'm sure it's from Marlin. That sweet guy. But as I opened the letter, I got confused. So, it wasn't Marlon, but the anonymous person? Happy New Year. This is too much.
much, Gina. Marlon Havenstrom, stop to this instant. What are you doing? Those letters, those gifts, those smiles of yours that are always directed to those gifts. Just damn it, Gina. Just who the hell is that person? What? What are you talking about? Why, listen to me. I have been listening to you already for months. You know, I hope just for once you're going to listen to me too. You don't understand my feelings. Look, Marlon, listen. I'm tired, Gina. I feel betrayed. I'm not betraying you, nor fooling you, Marlon. Ha! <laughs> I bet you're also fooling me with that necklace, huh? Marlon, wait. After everything I've done for you, that's what you do to me. Good morning, world. This is CNN Breaking News, giving you the best updates in time and keeping you updated and alert. This is Veronica Vertich, and I am here as your reporter. As for the current breaking news, two women are found dead at the residence at Costa Rica Village at 12.25 a.m. The bodies were brought to the hospital, and it was there that the bodies were found out to be long overdue lying at their home with a real time of death at 3.43 p.m. As for the time being, the investigators are currently identifying who the killer is, so stay tuned and be updated. Once again, this is CNN Breaking News, giving you the best updates in time, keeping you updated and alert. This is Veronica Fertich as a reporter. Good morning. Marlon didn't come back after New Year. I've been waiting for him the day after, and the day after that. I've been waiting for him to come back. I want to say sorry to him. I know that it's my fault. I was so engrossed with the letters and the gifts, and that I forgot he was there. But I love him, and I want him back. And I won't be scared to say sorry just to have him back. But then, I guess... He hurt you, didn't he? Marlon, he hurt you, didn't he? Marlon. Gina! Marlon will never hurt me. I know he can hurt you. Look at you! No! Marlon is sweet, caring. No, he's not a sweet, caring husband. Look at you! What's your problem? No. Marlon is my problem. Look at you! Marlon! Gina, I'm sorry. Gina. I care for you, Gina. I know Marlon is a bad guy. Please, just move on. No. You can find a better guy. No, he can't. No, you need to find a better guy than Marlon. He's a bad guy. No, he is not. He is a bad guy. No! I can't. This is hard. I'm going back now. Thank you for the hug. Hello, Gina. Wait. Gina?
Who would never be enlightened when seeing a present made for you? That's what I felt when seeing the gift left in my porch. Because gifts are supposed to make you happy. But actually, that's not what I felt the moment I opened it. It was horrendous. Hello, JR. So, you know who the culprit is? <sighs> okay, yes. Okay, thank you. <sighs> I knew it was him. I knew it was Aaron Sullivan. This is CNN Breaking News, giving you the best updates in time and keeping you updated and alert. This is Veronica Vertich, your reporter for the day. Right now we are here in front of the house of Miss Gina Havistro, who was found dead at exactly 12 a.m. on Valentine's Day, which is really an unfortunate time for her because it is a love day for everyone. So the killer is not known because she was found dead alone at her bedroom. As for the time being, the real culprit is currently being investigated by these investigators, so it's best to stay updated and alert. Once again, this is Veronica Vitich, your reporter for the day. This is CNN Breaking News, giving the best updates in time and keeping you updated and alert. Good morning. Hunter and Stair Sister. <laughs> At least... I got to enjoy the last moments with her. 
You? You are this anonymous person. You are the one who killed Gina. Yeah, yeah, well. Aren't you thankful? Marlon and Gina's soul will be rotting in the hell. And as for you, you'll be rotting here. You kill her! You kill her! You kill Gina! Hey, hey, what's happening here? Hey, how's this conversation going? Hey, stop You're the one who killed Gina! Do not, crazy man. You crazy man, sit down! He's running wild. Arrest him. Yeah. Take him out. What a genius am I?